Welcome back to Mental Gym Travels. In this episode, we start our journey up to Cairns, stopping off at Mackay and Townsville to break up the gargantuan journey. After getting into the bus at Noosa, it took us a whopping 13 hours to travel from Noosa to Mackay, and the bus was so packed we couldn't sit together. Luckily I was accompanied by a talkative Swede, who I talked to for a good few hours on the trip, which killed some time. Arriving in Mackay, we found ourselves back in the same wet weather that we had in Noosa. However, that didn't stop one of our new hosts, Marcus, taking us around Mackay for a short guided tour. Marcus was a distant relative of Tom's, but had met him a few times. Mackay is a working town and doesn't really boast a tourist industry like the other places we visited. Most people work out in the mines a few hours from Mackay, digging away at the resource-rich earth of Australia. But if you think that means that Mackay is a boring town, think again. With beautiful scenery and a vibrant nightlife, it's certainly a place to consider if you're travelling up the coast. Most of that day consisted of us going back to Marcus's house and meeting the rest of his family. His wife Sarah and their two daughters, Ashley and Nicole. They lived in a lovely house in North Mackay and were great hosts. I'll admit, the majority of that first day was spent sleeping. But can you blame us after 13 hours of bus journey? They took us up to a really nice restaurant for dinner where I had crab pasta. I wish I knew exactly what the dish was called as I loved it, but I know very little about Italian food honestly. It was one of the nicest crab dishes I've ever had though. The night was mainly spent sitting out in the garden, drinking beer and laughing at this cricket. Oh, hello. What are you doing Mr Cricket? Waking up in the morning, we headed to Yungella, a national park just over an hour west of Mackay. Even though the day was quite overcast, the misty drive was very scenic. Now the main reason we came here was to see the platypuses. The footage we got was pretty bad as wild platypuses are actually much smaller than the ones you see at zoos, but we were really lucky as we saw about six. Apparently, most people struggle to see even one. We were actually blessed by the overcast weather, as it turns out platypuses don't like the sun, so we had the perfect conditions to see them. We also saw quite a few turtles and admired the views of Pioneer Valley. The place was stunning, and although I had never heard of it, this view is probably the best view that we had got in our entire trip. We spent what little we had left of the day chilling out in the pool and relaxing with some beers for our five hour journey the next day. Early next morning, Nicole very kindly took us to the next Greyhound, which then took us to Townsville. We stayed at the Civic Guest House, which was a very trendy hostel which was set out almost like a favela. We spent the day exploring the city, grabbing the Australia exclusive McDonald's beef wrap, which is really just a kebab. We then went to watch a movie in an almost abandoned cinema, and then went to the local pub, Molly Malone's, to watch the first rugby game of the season. Townsville is home to the North Queensland Cowboys, the team representing Mackay, Townsville, Cairns, and a whole host of other towns in the North of Queensland. The city had just built a new stadium, which was housing the first Cowboys game that night, and so the energy in the city was electric. Next day, probably in the top three days of the whole trip, up with going to the dunes in the UAE and going diving in Cairns. But today we hopped on a ferry to explore Magnetic Island to go to my favourite hike that I've personally ever done. We started in Nelly Bay and walked to Arcadia. We planned to do some snorkelling there, but a very honest salesman told us it would be barely worth it as the last few days worth of rain damaged the water's visibility. Because of this, we then moved on to Alma Bay a small little beach which was absolutely perfect for swimming. We spent about an hour in there just relaxing in the warm water. We then headed north, with our end point being the forts up near Horseshoe Bay. Our first stop was a place called Sphinx Lookout, which looked over Arcadia in the south of the island. On the way there we found a nice little waterfall. You'd find little sites like this all throughout the walk, which is why it was so good. There was always exploration to be had. We got to Sphinx Lookout enjoyed the wonderful view. We continued our hike towards the forts 
and on the way we were extremely lucky to see multiple koalas, though we'd get our best picture of the koalas on the way back down. Most people that go to Australia actually don't see koalas, mainly because their population has been damaged so much by the recent bushfires. However, as there are no fires on Magnetic Island and there's koala sanctuary relatively nearby, the population is actually very high, and so your chances of seeing them are a lot higher, especially in one section of the island. The hike was relatively hard, with the path being extremely rocky and much of the journey being uphill. Despite this, we persevered and finally made it to the forts. These forts were used in World War II by Australia to defend Townsville from a potential invasion force from Japan who had come through the north to attack the Allied nation. Much of the fort's structure still remains, including the area that housed the artillery and the main lookout. And boy, what a lookout it was. From there you could see the entire island. The view was just amazing. Climbing down the hill we found ourselves our final koala of the journey and we got within one metre of it. Being able to get this close to a koala in the wild is extremely rare so we were very very lucky. It was a surreal experience. Getting back to the road we caught a bus back to Horseshoe Bay and then took the ferry back home enjoying the purple orange skies as we made our way back to the bus and then onwards to Cairns and the final leg of our journey.